Looking down on the heads of state of this year's Tour of Switzerland, that's Andreas Cloden at the front, Lance Armstrong, Roman Kruziger in this group, as well as Joachim Rodriguez. But the race situation is there's a lone leader, and it's Robert Gessing of Holland, who is on the road just around about 55 seconds ahead of Olivier Zog of Switzerland and uh, Frank Schleck of Luxembourg. The man of orange, the man from Rabobank, who will be looking forward to riding the Tour de France this year after crashing out last year and breaking his arm in a very dramatic crash. He's had a quiet season so far this year with a fifth place overall in the Terreno Adriatico race. But I think, uh, like many other riders, he has concentrated on his campaign for trying to perform well at this year's Tour de France, which, let's not forget, starts in his home country of Holland. This is a real big comeback for Robert Kessink. He's stretching out a very big advantage. He started the day looking for about 27 seconds in the overall classification, but right now he's riding himself into a very solid, dominant position. He could finish this race with a good minute's lead over the other riders in the group. Guessing. Looking at 10 kilometers to go, and uh, according to my calculations, that should put him around about 300 meters away from the top of the climb. And yes, thank you very much. There it is. The green banner across the road is the top of the climb, 250 meters to go. Well, there's the top for this man, Robert Hessink, over the top. Now he's going to line up for a very quick 9.7 kilometer dash down to the finish. With a minute and 21 seconds advantage, I don't think anybody's going to see this man again. Fast descent. We are probably looking at around about 80 kilometers an hour on the descent here. Just leaning into the corner with the top part of his body to lower down the center of gravity to keep himself stable. Another one of these uh, corners. Backing it off, you see he's sitting at the back end of the bike a little bit. Drops the shoulder into the corner just to move that position there. He's, well, there's a sight for his sore eyes there. Just in the bottom, you can just see their one kilometer to go sign. And for this man, it's going to be a stage victory, but it's going to be a double header because not only will he take the stage this afternoon, he will pull on the new leader's jersey in the Tour of Switzerland. Here we go. Around the corner. This is all downhill to the finish line for this magnificent queen of stages in the Tour of Switzerland here this afternoon. He is not going to slow down at all because not only does he want to win the stage, he wants to make sure that he's got as much time advantage as possible to give himself a comfortable buffer and the lead overall in the Tour of Switzerland. Pulling off the team cars there is Team Soigneur was just at the side of the road. A nice right-hand sweeping bend for Robert Hessing as he comes into the finishing straight. Again, out of the saddle, digging deep, looking for more and more seconds because at the end of this Tour of Switzerland, it could be won by seconds. There's still a very long individual time trial for him to face up to on the final weekend of racing and he's in a an alleyway of swiss flags here as he gives every last little bit of energy that he's got and now's the time for that salute the two-arm salute yes we know you ride for rabobank we know you've got the victory this afternoon congratulations there to robert hessing and now it's all a question of time the clock is ticking for robert hessing he will be the new leader of the tour of switzerland this afternoon it's been a long time coming. October last year was his last victory, the Grand Prix of Emilia, but this is the one that he's been promising for a number of seasons. A big mountain stage in a big race like the Tour of Switzerland, and for Robert Kessink, that will give him great confidence boost as he goes forward to be a leader of Team Rabobank for the Tour de France in July. Well, I have to say, if Denny Menshoff doesn't find his form for Team Rabobank at the Tour de France this year, they can count on a spare leader, because Robert Kessink in the past has finished seventh overall in the Vuelta in 2000. 2008, sixth overall in the Vuelta at the end of last season and today he's proved that he is a magnificent climber and now that's why he's got himself the overall lead here by around about half a minute he'll go out tomorrow with that jersey very comfortably fitting on his shoulders